How many men have you killed? No, wait a minute. Your Honor, a man's war record in Lieutenant Mannion's case, a great record, certainly shouldn't be used against him. Your Honor, I'm as patriotic as the next man. But the simple truth is, war can condition a man to killing other men. I simply want to determine how conditioned the lieutenant may be to the use of firearms on other human beings. I don't quite like the question, Mr. Bigler, but I don't see how I can exclude it. Let him answer. I know I killed at least four men in Korea. Three with a hand grenade and one with my service automatic. I may have killed others. A soldier doesn't always know. Now, Lieutenant, in these acts of killing, did you ever have a lapse of memory such as you had when you killed Barney Quill? No, sir. Did you ever have a lapse of memory during battle? No, sir. Were you ever submitted to a constant barrage, constantly in a sweat for many hours, constantly under attack or attacking? Many times. Were you ever treated for shell shock, battle fatigue, or any war neurosis or psychosis? No, sir. Did you ever experience any unusual mental state during the war? Well, I do remember having one great urge. What was that? To get the hell out and go home. <laughs> you would do well to consider the seriousness of the situation you were in. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I sympathize with the lieutenant. I expect he has the same feeling about getting out of jail. But the main point here, Lieutenant, is that at no time during your war service did you have a record of mental disturbance. You were always in complete possession of your faculties. Yes, sir, that's right. No more questions. No redirect, Your Honor. Step down, please. Call your next witness. Mm -hmm.